Well, it's a foggy day out here at Crossroads Church. This was my dad's church for years and years. It's right down the road from the old Sanford Homestead. Where his folks lived. I'm going to just show you their grave over here. There we go. That's my dad's folks. They're buried out here at Crossroads. His brother Clell buried out here as well. Really all kinds of Sanfords out here. We're slowly but surely taking over the place, it seems like. One of the most recent graves here is my dad, Roy Vernon Sanford. Got his VA marker finally here. He died in late November. And for some reason or other, they forgot to order his uh, grave marker until late April. We called up and tried to find out what's up, and they said, okay, well, we'll get that going. Uh, now it's August 7th or August 8th, I guess. And they finally put it in a few days ago, so eight months later, he's got a grave marker. I really couldn't tell you why. It looks like that grave is freshly dug, though. After my dad died in late November, by December, you couldn't even tell where he was out here. In fact, that was a problem. We called the funeral home and asked, you know, how do we find our dad? And uh, the grass had grown up and it rained a bunch and you really, you, there was nothing here. You couldn't tell where he was buried for months and months. Up until about a week, two weeks ago, they put up this little plastic marker in the back. And then all of a sudden, this grave was dug up again. And then this went in. So I really don't quite know what to make of that, since they lost track of him for a bunch of months there. They apparently forgot he was here, never put any kind of marker up, didn't even put that little plastic one up. Uh, I suspect what happened is they tried to put somebody else in his grave. They dug a hole, and said, whoops, somebody's already here, and filled it back in. And that's when that little plastic marker went up finally. And uh, whoever was going to get buried here, they, they, they're now a tenant somewhere else in this graveyard, I suspect. I really can't think of any other reason why eight months later uh, his grave would look freshly turned like that. And especially after, like I say, this was all just pure grass. You would never be able to tell where he was just a few weeks ago. So it's weird. But there he is with all the other Sanfords. We got Ralstons and Dotsons out here. And a lot of us are related to the Corals too. You might have heard of Johnny Corals, a famous author, other famous writer in the family. Well, this is where my dad resides now. Doesn't live here, but he resides here. This is his home. And uh, it is a beautiful cemetery. We love the Crossroad Cemetery. An awful lot of my family is out here. I won't be out here, though. I'm going to get cremated myself because I would hate for them to lose my body. <laughs> lose track of it and forget where I am. So if I'm cremated, I figure, well, lose my ashes. That's not so bad. So well, that's my dad's grave. I wanted to show that to folks that have been asking about it. If you come up here to find it sometime, just follow the path past the pavilion, the gazebo. Go up to the top of the hill along that back road and start looking for Sanfords. And you will not be able to avoid them. So there you go. The graveyard.